This is the story of the three little pigs. It was illustrated by Anna Derry. My name is Thomas Blake, and I would like to read this story with you. Once upon a time, there was a poor mother pig with three little pigs. She was so poor, she couldn't take care of her little pigs. So she sent them out to seek their fortune. The first little pig met a man coming down the road with a bundle of straw. The little pig asked him, Please, sir, may I have some of that straw to build a house? Why, of course you may, said the man. And the little pig built a house from the straw. Soon a mean wolf came along and knocked at the little pig's door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. He growled. Oh, no, cried the little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny-chin-chin. Chin. Then said the wolf, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. And he ate up the poor little pig. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks. Please, sir, may I have some of those sticks to build a house, he asked. Of course you may, said the man. And the little pig built a house from the sticks. <laughs> then along came the mean wolf again. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he said. Oh no, cried the little pig, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll hop, and I'll hop, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in. And he ate up the poor little pig. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. Please, sir, may I have some of those bricks to build a house, he said. Oh, why, certainly, said the man. And the little pig built a house from the bricks. Then along came the wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he said. Oh, no, cried the little pig, not by the hair on my chinny-chin-chin. And chin. I'll hop and I'll pop and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he could not blow the house in. Then the mean wolf decided to play a trick on the little pig. Little pig, uh, I know where there is a nice field of turnips, he said. Where? asked the little pig. In Mrs. Smith's field, said the wolf. And if you'll be ready tomorrow morning at six o'clock, we can go together and get some for dinner. Very well, I will be ready, said the little pig. But the smart little pig got up at five o'clock and was back home with all his turnips before the wolf arrived. When the wolf came, he said, Little pig, little pig, are you ready? Ready, laughed the little pig. I woke up early and I already have all the turnips I want. The 
wolf became angry, but he tried not to show it. Little pig, he said as sweetly as he could. I know where there is a nice apple tree. Where? asked the little pig. It's down at the merry garden, said the wolf. And if you promise not to trick me, I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning, and we'll go to get some apples. But the smart little pig got up at four o'clock and went off to get the apples before the wolf arrived. Just as he was climbing down the tree with his bundle of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, cried the wolf, what are you doing here so early? Did you get some nice apples? Yeah, yes, said the little pig, I will throw one down to you. And he threw the apple so far that while the wolf was chasing it, the little pig climbed down the tree and ran all the way home. The next day the wolf came again and said to the little pig, uh, Little pig, would you like to go to the fair with me this afternoon? Oh yes, said the little pig. What time should I be ready? Three o'clock, said the wolf. So once again, the little pig went off to the fair before the wolf arrived. At the fair, the little pig bought a fine butter churn and was on his way home with it when he saw the wolf coming. What shall I do, cried the little pig. The wolf will catch me, where can I hide? The little pig hid in the butter churn. It fell over and rolled down the hill with him inside of it. The wolf saw the butter churn coming down the hill. What is coming after me, he cried. He was so frightened, he ran all the way home. Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him how he was frightened on his way to the fair by a big round thing that rolled down the hill after him. The little pig laughed. <laughs> so, you were frightened? That was me rolling down the hill in a butter chair and I bought at the fair. Now, the wolf was very, very angry. I'm coming down the chimney to eat you up, he screamed at the little pig. The little pig put a big pot of water on the blazing fire as the mean wolf climbed down the chimney. Oh, no! He cried as he fell into the boiling pot. <laughs> I have you now, laughed the little pig. And he put the lid on the pot and cooked the wolf and ate him that night for supper. <laughs>